You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. So what's going on, Ask and Cast Collectors and Diecast Viewers on YouTube? This is the original Big Bri here, and today I'm going to bring you guys with another Carl Edwards Diecast review. However, it's not going to be on 164, guys. And usually I do review a lot of 164s on this channel, but since I, since Carl Edwards is my favorite driver, I do collect the 124s of his cars as well. So without further ado, guys, this Diecast review, of course, sponsored by Lesher's Diecast, and it's going to be on a race win diecast. And you probably wonder what it is. I'm guessing what it is. There's a little hint right there if you guys might know if you're any Carl Edwards fans out there. But it's the 2016 Richmond Toyota Owners 400 winner from Carl Edwards. Yes, we finally got a Carl Edwards car produced in the 19 since both of his cars were canceled last year. Uh, as you can see, it's a standard finished car. We've got the race winner sticker. And this is one out of 700, which I think the DIN number on this is uh, 41, I think. But I don't really review the box too much, but I should take a look. We're heading down to the finale, which is today. So by the time I upload this video, it'll be on today. And of course, I'm going to be cheering for Carl Edwards. So this should be a very fun review to uh, get the Carl Edwards train rocking and rolling. So let's unbox this bad boy, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube, we got this diecast out of its box, and it just looks fabulous. Man, what a... Nice looking paint scheme of this number 19 Xfinity Toyota Camry. Of course, this is your winner from uh, the Richmond race happening back in April of the April 24th for the Toyota Owners 400. Um, you can probably already can tell by that information with the card right there. So we're going to be looking at this card because this is what comes in the box. You also get this um, with the die cast. You also get a any race win die cast from uh, Lionel. You get these. Um, you get a bag of confetti, which looks pretty cool. I mean, nothing too fancy, but uh, kind of cool that they got confetti from the race. And a race winner card um, giving information about that race. So, you know, I mean, this was, of course, a very exciting finish. Probably one of the, exciting, one of the most exciting finishes that we've had for this year. Um, you know, besides, you know, what happened at Phoenix with Carl Edwards and Kevin Harvick. But, yeah, it looks really cool. Um, you could look at the information and, you know, want to, and if you guys do want to do some reading, um, there they you go right there. But there is an error on this card, guys, so I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to decide if you guys do know what this error is. Or if you guys already know, then last time I checked, this is a cup car and not an Xfinity or Nationwide Series car. So that was kind of a mistake right there. I think someone in the office, the Lionel, just got a little confused right there. I would be confused too because, you know, Xfinity, I mean, it's pretty rare to have, you know, the same sponsor from another series to here. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's the one nitpick right there. But it's not really going to ruin the whole, you know, die cast for me because this car... Wow, guys, probably one of my most favorite Carl Edwards cars. And I'm not just saying that because it's with his new uh, JGR team. Well, it's not really new anymore. I mean, he's been in for two years. But you guys know what I mean. This is technically new for Carl Edwards fans because, like I said, this is the first time that we're getting a Joe Gibbs Racing car, a, a race wind die cast for um, Carl Edwards from JGR. So um, probably just going to go on a brief 360 review. Not really going to go too crazy on the sponsors because I know you guys want to see the race win parts. So, as you can see right here, look at all this confetti, man. It just looks amazing. It, there's so much confetti on this, you can't even see the um, the windshield at all. I mean, uh, you could just barely see the two Toyota logos and Carl Edwards' name. You can hardly see Xfinity. But uh, one cool feature I like about the confetti, um, this confetti actually blends in very well with the paint scheme because the main colors of this paint scheme are just black, white, and gray and red. And it, it really blends well together. I mean, as I took a look at this view right here, it really does look nice. It actually feels like it's part of the paint scheme, but it's not. But uh, that's really, really awesome right there. Um, and you see the nice, wonderful Toyota logo. I'm going to probably cue all the Toyota haters right here in the comments. <laughs> Long live Toyota. <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty. So and you can also see the Camry is also kind of worn down a little bit as well. Probably it's got some dirt on it. It's also got some uh, little tape... Some little tapes in there where the grills are. I mean, some tape marks. Looks really nice. And uh, also, the hood opens up in this car, which I will right there. 
as uh, the car lover's car takes a tumble. I think that's always one thing that happens in my diecast review is like a card has to fall down. I mean, it's just not a diecast review without a card falling down. I mean, <laughs> it just it just is what it is. So we're going down underneath the beauty of this car, which is uh, the Toyota Let's Go Places Xfinity. And ladies and gentlemen, the most wonderful engine detail by your friends at Lionel Racing. How about that? Just if you can't tell what my sarcasm is, guys, this car, this uh, engine detail is just fantastic. <laughs> can't just be any more crazier than that. But um, yeah, I wish we had more better engine detail, but you can only ask for so much. I'm just glad that we actually got a Carl Leverts diecast produced this year for the race winner line. But uh, another cool feature I like about this, um, I do like the, well, there's one thing I got to give props to Lionel. The, the detail that they put on these tires, it does look pretty fabulous. I mean, um, that that's pretty nice. I mean, I also, I mean, you got, you got um, the lug nuts in there, and uh, they got those, they took the time to paint those. Um, the outside of the rim is colored in with the paint scheme, which I do like that. I like how it's red. Um, and also... Since it's a race winner diecast, you can also see the Goodyear the Goodyear Eagle logos are also wear down as well, probably when he was doing burnouts at Victory Lane, which is really cool. And uh, the number 19 on this is gray, which on my 164 diecast, it's white, so that's a nice little feature. I'm sure this is the most accurate version, since um, I think they ran great numbers at both Richmond races, which that's um, really nice. Well, I think Carl Edwards did, I don't know about the other guys. Um, lots of more confetti on this, and I think the tire on this is supposed to go this way because um, similar to his Phoenix win in 2010, they decided to put the confetti on the tires, which I do love that. That's a lot of feature. That just gives Lionel some more accuracy tips. Um, so props to Lionel for being accurate on that. That's really, really nice. So if you're going to display it, I think this is how you're going to want it to get it displayed. Um, and of course the two race winner stickers. I mean, this is a race win diecast after all. So, um, that's really nice right there. You can see all the pillars on this car are just covered in confetti, man. They, they really just spot out a lot of confetti on this. It even gets better on the top guys. I mean, just look at that. It's just a big collage of just red, white, and black confetti pieces all over with of course the root flaps. You can, uh, take them off. I mean, not take them off, but you can flap them just like that which is really cool nothing too special they're just black underneath but uh still nice little feature that lionel likes to do with their 124s um all their other sponsors right here of course carl Edwards' main sponsors you know stanley eric's xfinity i sound like carl Edwards now when he does an interview oh i gotta think stanley eric's xfinity subway sport clips uh you know all the boys at jgr you know i mean heck so it's a good day, and I'm going to go do a backflip and eat some Subway. <laughs> uh, well, I should know better because I'm a Carlos fan. I should probably know what he says. But, you know, got to have some fun in this diecast review because this is a really nice-looking car. And on the back of this car, we got the X wonderful Xfinity logos. I mean, nothing really too crazy right here, but I do like the fading, how this car fades. I mean, um, I, I, I do like this paint scheme a lot. You know, it's got the rear camera on the back, which looks really cool. Also, the uh, deck lid opens up, which you can see the red fuel cell. Lots of red on this car, so I guess the red fuel cell really adds a nice touch to that. And this is, if, if for any uh, hardcore 124 collectors, you want to know what the DIN number on this, it's DIN number 41 out of 700. So I got myself a pretty low DIN number, which I think that's a first for me. So I guess this diecast is very special. There's even more confetti on the back, and if you actually could feel, there's actually texture on that, which I know Lionel does that, but just just shows more quality that Lionel has with these 124s, even though I wish they weren't 70 bucks. But uh, here's a little onboard camera of the uh, Xfinity car. I'm probably going to do these on most of my 124s, but uh, this looks really cool right here. I do like that, even though that's probably not the best idea to have the hood pointing at Carl Everts. Uh, last time I checked, this is a diecast view and not Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> but uh, here we go. We also got, oh, okay. Well, we're going to put this card right here like that. And so it's probably going to fall down again, but oh well. And number 19, which of course my most favorite. I think that's probably my most, my most favorite number. And also this has the Coors Light Pole Award. Uh, well, not Coors Light, but Coors Light on it. So And it's not on a base, so props line. No, they don't do that on 124s. Also has the NASCAR green logo because this car was ran in April. But however, I thought there was going to be a green name banner, but I'm actually glad that doesn't because that would have kind of ruined the paint scheme for me. So I'm glad NASCAR didn't do that. 
um, for this year. I know they did it at the past few um, spring races last year, but I'm glad they decided to ditch that idea and just go with the logo. So much more better idea for um, this diecast. So we still got some not too much not too much race marks right here, but you can see it looks like Carl ever scuffed up the wall just a little bit, but it looks uh, still pretty nice though. Still got some more wear down right there. A uh, lot some more um, wear on this car where the tires are. Well, not not as much wear as uh, the other side, but uh, it's. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure there there is still some tire wear on this, but not as much as the uh, driver's side. But uh, still good amount of detail on both sides of these tires. And, um, yeah, there's even detail with the exhaust and all that. I mean, it looks really cool. I mean, very nice looking car. I love the confetti on this. And there's, of course, the front again and the bottom of this car, which actually has much more detail than the engine which is very sad but um yeah and for any car fans out there um this definitely is pretty detailed on the front on the uh underside of this car and we're back to this angle so yep guys i think this would be a car to get for sure especially for any car letters fans out there who are um you know been waiting for a car leverage number 19 car this definitely I think there's no other way to put it this guys. This car looks really nice, especially if you're a fan of cars covered in confetti, like the Bristol car. I think if you have the Bristol car from 2014, you should get this car cuz it it goes well very nice and it was cool to see Carl Edwards win in a very dramatic finish with him and Kyle Busch at this car. And now he's going to be fighting him and three other guys at Homestead by the time I upload this video. So of course I will be cheering for Carl Edwards for the 2016 Spring Cup Series champion. So another reason why I decided to upload this video to show my support with Carl Edwards, guys. I'm really hoping he wins the championship. This would be very nice. And if he does, then expect a uh, new ex expect a lot of exciting reviews to do with Carl Edwards because I will be uh, probably you know going on the Carl Edwards. Uh, diecast review train for quite a while if, if he does end up being the champion. So wishing all those guys in the number 19 team a best of luck for tomorrow or today by the time i upload this video so hopefully by the time i upload this uh we'll see carl efforts probably in p1 but i don't want to get too carried away myself but um yep guys i'm hoping any of you guys enjoyed this review feel free to give it a good comment like if you guys haven't already subscribe to my youtube channel i'm known as original big bride guys and hopefully we'll see you guys with another nascar diecast review on some more carl Evers diecast or any other diecast that i have to show you guys so until then guys this is Original Big Bryce signing off, and see you all at Homestead. Go Carl.